Good morning, everybody. It is the Tuesday after Thanksgiving. Wow, I can't believe we're literally just a few days away from December. I literally feel like we just celebrated Halloween and all of a sudden Thanksgiving just came and went. So I hope everybody had a good time. I had some family in town and I'm so thankful that they traveled here. Uh, we're very close in our family and so it was really nice to see everybody and really celebrate the true meaning of Thanksgiving. Just being grateful uh, for all the love and support that we have for each other, that all of our healths are in check so that nobody at this time of the year is dealing with any major issues um, such as cancer or anything terrible that we have dealt with in the past. So um, I'm just super excited. I tell you, Christmas is literally right around the corner. So again, it's my job to get you cranking for the new year. So I know that it is tough time of the year um, to be, you know, so to speak, good. So we don't need you to be perfect, but my job is just to help you enjoy your holiday parties, um, not gain too much weight, kind of keep the status quo and maintain your weight so that you can gear up for your New Year's resolution. Now, so for those of you who don't know me, I'm Dr. Angela from MedFit Medical Weight Loss. I'm Denver's weight loss expert. And I'm so excited that our Fitness Friday is starting very soon. So make sure that you check out um, me on the CW on Fitness, Fitness Fridays at nine o'clock uh, mountain time. And we are going to start filming this week. And so it's going to be airing um, possibly the first week, um, maybe even this Friday, so I will let you know, so stay tuned. So I'm going to be giving you tips every single Friday, and um, Joanna, the host of Colorado's Best, is going to uh, help me, and we want to know what you want to know. So don't forget to submit your questions. Uh, you can, you know, make your comments here on the Facebook Live. You can private message me, or you can make some comments in the Facebook, or you can even go to our website at www.denverweightlossclinic.com and send us your pressing questions because, again, you know, this is the last month of the year. We're just going to just hunker down again, get through this challenging month. But again, I want to get the ball rolling. I want to get you um, hitting the ground running by January so that you can be literally ahead of the game and uh, basically pass through your New Year's resolution. So, all right, so today's hot topic. I'm glad uh, there are you that are actually watching this live because I'm giving you two pearls of wisdom. I mean, I'm telling you, these are like secrets that I'm going to give to you that is going to get you one step ahead of everybody else. So if you're like me, yes, I'm guilty, probably ate way too much on Thanksgiving and of course I had family in town and I'm Asian you know we talk about food all the time so how do I control myself you know we had a mixture of um, cooking at home but of course we were out and about shopping and of course you're going out to eat uh, eventually I got to the point where oh my gosh I can't look at food I just eat too much and I feel so sick so if you were like me come Monday all right we are all doing a detox, right? I'm sure some of you probably Googled, you know, detox or cleanse or the three-day detox plan. And um, I bet you, you started, you're trying to get rid of the weight that you gained from Thanksgiving. Just to give you a hint, majority of that weight that you gain from Thanksgiving is primarily water weight. So that's the good news. You know, water weight is something that's easily accumulated, especially when you have a carb heavy meal. So don't worry, don't fret. Those extra three to four pounds is something that you can eliminate much quicker uh, than just pure body fat. So I'm going to give you my special Thanksgiving hangover cocktail. Now, again, if you're like me, yesterday I literally ate um, some proteins, um, some salads, and I started the day with a 
black tea uh, with lemon. That's something that I start every day to get my metabolism waking up uh, so that I can start to, again, eliminate the extra water weight that I gain, get my body weight back to its baseline. So if you started your detox, I'm guessing the first day you did great. You cut out all sugar, you cut out alcohol, you were drinking water, you were being good. Today is the second day. This is where you're probably miserable. It sucks, doesn't it? It probably feels truly like a hangover. You are tired. You probably have a headache. You're, you're probably cranky because you're, you know, kind of maybe just eating stuff that you don't normally eat, but you're just trying to like quickly get the weight off. So listen up. Like I said, like Dr. Angela always says, get a pen and paper, write these two things down. Okay, number one, to get rid of water weight, you actually need to give your body more water. Now, I know that that seems counterintuitive. It's like, well, I'm retaining water. Why would I drink water? Well, you need to tell your body that it has an abundant supply so that your kidneys can get rid of it. But here's my special cocktail. So I want you to get a big glass jar Fill it up with water and ice cubes, and I want you to include three ingredients, okay? Fresh lemon, fresh cucumber, and fresh mint. Now, the amounts are something that you're going to adjust depending on your flavor, but these three ingredients are key in getting rid of water weight. They actually act like natural diuretics. What does that mean? That means that it helps your kidneys filter out the excess water weight so that you literally can eliminate that water weight in a matter of just a few days. But it also has just a like nice natural cleanse without putting you through that boot camp misery type style. Um, that's what I recommend you do for at least, I would say a minimum three days. If you can only handle a couple of days, um, that's fine but a good three days just to get into the habit. It helps you feel sort of clean and back into the habit and mode. Um, remember again, water with fresh lemon, cucumber, and mint. Okay, so that is pearl of wisdom number one. This two, uh, number two, is the true secret that you won't even get on the internet, okay? So now, for those of you who have sort of done their detox or you're just on a quick diet just to kind of get things flowing out. The reason why you have a headache or tired or just, you know, again, just don't feel right. Some people even feel lightheaded. The natural tendency for you to think, okay, well, I don't feel right. It's because I cut calories. I'm probably low on blood sugar. Most people call that hypoglycemic. Guess what? It makes you feel like, well, gosh, if I don't eat enough and I don't feel right, the natural tendency is, well, I probably should add more calories to my intake so that I can feel better. Here is the trick. It's actually not a blood sugar problem. It is a sodium problem. Now, I'm not gonna get too detailed into the physiology. I don't wanna bore you with the science behind it, but I just wanna let you know, when you cut calories, you actually lower your insulin levels, which also reduces your sodium levels. Now, what is the result of that? Your blood pressure drops you start to get a headache. Again, with your blood pressure dropping, you're gonna get lightheaded, you're gonna get tired. That's why you feel miserable, particularly on day two of your detox, is because you have dramatically cut your calories and dramatically dropped your insulin levels, which in turn lowers your sodium. So, how do you feel better without ruining your detox plan? Add chicken broth. Now, for those of you who are vegan or vegetable, you can use vegetable broth. The idea is, is that you can add sodium in a healthier way to ease that blood pressure up and give you instant relief from that headache and that fatigue. So you can drink roughly about one cup 
three to four times a day as needed to get you over that sort of that you know the three day hump of not feeling well since you were counting calories. Once you get your normal sodium levels back up, then you can continue on your detox and actually escape through that detox without feeling the pain and the boot camp feeling type of thing. So, so, so two pearls of wisdom. Number one, let's get rid of extra water weight. So remember lemon, cucumber, and mint. And then the second pearl of wisdom is to add chicken broth or a natural sodium. You can also add a little bit of extra salt to your foods. That's another method. Uh, and if you enjoy soy sauce like me, that's another uh, method to add a little bit of extra sodium during the time where you're trying to do your cleanse or your detox. So, all right, so those are gonna be the two important pieces of advice that I have today. I'm going to keep it short. I know that you guys are busy getting back to work and gearing up for Christmas. Uh, again, don't forget to follow me every Tuesday at 10 o'clock Mountain Time for my Facebook Live. I'm going to give you a lot of very important advice tips that you don't necessarily get just off of the internet. So make sure you follow me. Don't forget to post your questions. If you are ready to lose weight now, we are actually, um, we feel lucky that we are busy. So, um, so why don't you contact us at www.denverweightlossclinic.com. We're actually running a December special. This is really the one month out of the year where we do uh, give some specials for our new members. So make sure that you take uh, charge of that special so that you can sign up and you can even be ahead of the game before the new year's resolution hits and everybody is just filling up the gyms when you've already lost you know 10 15 maybe even 20 pounds by that time so um so don't forget you can contact me at www.denverweightlossclinic.com again check us out on fitness fridays on the cw at 9 a.m mountain time i will keep you posted sit and give you updates on that and uh, good luck on the Thanksgiving hangover make sure to get that cocktail and let's get rid of that weight uh, pretty quickly after Thanksgiving all right we will see you again next week